bipartisanship. Yesterday, it was John McCain on the Senate floor. Today, it was House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Kevin Brady, right here on CNBC, saying Democrats have some very good ideas on tax reform, and he thinks there's common ground there. Joining us is another team working together, specifically on supporting startups. Representative Daryl Issa is a Republican from California, and Representative Jared Polis is a Democrat from Colorado. Guys, good to have you here. Really appreciate it. Representative Polis, tell us about startups across America and how you're working across the aisle with each other. You know, so five years ago, Daryl and I had a discussion, and we said, you know, a lot of our colleagues are attorneys, had careers in the military, wonderful people, but they didn't have experience or know about the startup world, entrepreneurship. Daryl and I are both entrepreneurs, so we said, why don't we create here in Congress a Startup Day Across America where we get our colleagues to really understand the startup economy visiting startups in their district, because truly there's new companies and new ideas in every zip code in every district in this country. That is fantastic. Representative Issa, since I, I work at CNBC, I'm hoping that this means you guys can work across the aisle on tax reform. What do you think? Well, actually, we, uh, we both have Art Laffer as a friend and advisor. Uh, actually, Art served on one of your boards. Uh, we do have a lot of common ground on what we believe is going to help get America producing uh, way ahead of the rest of the world. Uh, you know, one of the challenges is to find those things we agree on and do them and try to stay away from those uh, divisive issues that often divide us. Uh, normally I wouldn't have done this, but while we've got you here, either one of you have an issue with the Amazon Whole Foods transaction? We're hearing lots of complaints about whether or not Amazon is too big and too powerful. You know, what we're trying to highlight through Startup Day Across America is that e tomorrow's and today's great business was a garage startup. I remember when Jeff Bezos was just starting Amazon, 10 employees, 15 employees. Uh, look at the size they are today. The same with Whole Foods. And by really nurturing and helping capital formation and issues around startup companies, we're encouraging the creation of tomorrow's great uh, American success story. Because Representative Polis, it's your side of the aisle that has been particularly emphatic about maybe holding hearings about whether or not there's got to be a new way to look at antitrust in this country. You're not well, joining those guys? <laughs> My side of the aisle doesn't really get to hold hearings because we're in the minority. So uh, really, it's up to the Republicans what they want to do. Of course, I think Democrats and Republicans believe in antitrust. I think we also believe with the development of new technologies, uh, we should update what, what uh, antitrust means in a digital era. And I think both parties have an interest in doing that to make sure that tomorrow's great disruptive startup has the opportunity to succeed and that the entrenched companies don't come to Washington and use Washington to co-opt uh, their disruptive technology and ens enshrine their uh, incumbency advantage into law. Well, and Jared really makes the point. Are there barriers to entry? Uh, this whole idea that, that every merger should be scrutinized for whether or not somebody's become too big isn't the right objective. Antitrust was all about making sure we didn't have barriers to entry. The fact is, uh, Amazon is entering a new market, if you will, or expanding in a market, and there's still a, going to be a relatively small player in that market. Uh, and I think if, uh, if Safeway wants to do home delivery at the same rate as Amazon, there's no, nothing stopping them. Uh, let's remember that the post office started off with a monopoly, effectively, on delivery to your home. And a number of companies have entered it. And as they've entered it, you've gotten better service, faster, more consistent, uh, in a way wouldn't without competition. And there's the famous story of when FedEx was a startup and Fred Smith had to go to, I think it was Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and he bet everything he had. <laughs> Uh, literally everything he had on his credit card. I think he won, and because of that, he was able to go back and uh, keep FedEx viable, and we see the great value they That's bring today. That's a great today. country.